<laughs> Hello everyone, it's me once again, the passionate Piscator, and today I'm at the Farnham Angling Society's Stockbridge Pond. I'm doing that because I've done a couple of takes now and I've mispronounced Farnham Angling Society. I don't know how, but I have. Um, I'm with my old mucker today, um, Aaron, uh, an everyday angler. And uh, we're here on this foggy, foggy morning. It was a lot foggier than this when we got here. Uh, hopefully the sun will break through. It's up there somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, we're here today to try and catch a few tench or crucians or roach. I'm not sure what other fish are in here, to be honest. But anything we can catch, really. Um, Stockbridge Pond is, is famed for its tench. It's got some really good crucians in. I think there's a few little perch in here as well. And some really big perch, but not very many. Um, but we've got uh, feeder rods out. I've set up down the bank already and I've just walked away to give it a bit of time because I've put some ground bait in to do a little intro for you guys to say where I am. Um, yeah, it's really cold. Um, yesterday was a really warm day. It was a frost this morning, a hard frost. Um, and it's look, it looks like the weather's going to warm up to be quite a warm day later, which are not the ideal conditions for fishing. Let's be honest. Um, anyway, I'm a few swims down this way. I'm right at the very, very top of the, uh, the lake, which is where the shallow end is, and the deeper end is further on down. Um, we're sort of more up this end because we're hoping when the warm weather warms up the water a bit, the fish are going to become more active down this end of the lake first compared to the far end of the lake. At least that's the plan. As we know, plans in fishing could go out the window any minute, and it probably already has. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to head back down and have a swim, sort of had a bit of time. I put some ground bait in, as I said, get the fish around it, get my feeder full of ground bait, put some maggots on the hook and see what I can catch. And on the way back down, I'm going to see if an everyday angler, Aaron, has actually managed to have any bites. Probably not yet, probably not yet, but we'll see, see what he says. That's the majority of the uh, fog burnt off anyway. It's been a couple of hours since we set up and started fishing. And um, no fish on the bank yet. We have plenty of um, mist bites. And we've had some hookups. But the fish have come off. <laughs> uh, there's a big patch of lilies between mine and Aaron's swim. Um, which we discovered, and then I did a quick check on the uh, Google Maps to see what they look like, and sure enough, there's a big patch of lilies. <laughs> you can see them quite clearly. Um, so our main task today is to try and keep the fish away from the area in front of me. I'm fishing a bit over to my um, left-hand side here, so I'm not, um, not really having to deal with it, which is quite good. Because the downside is where the lilies are where the fish are. So Aaron's had um, quite a few more hookups than I have. Just missed another bite, just reeled in, changed the maggots, 
put in new ground bait, sent it back out again. I think um, for certain it'll be really cold weather this morning. And now the relatively warm weather, I'm not sure what temperature it is, but it's certainly increased by about 10 degrees, I'd say. That always spells trouble for fishing anyway. Getting a few line bites now as I speak to you. That's just fish bumping into the line, which goes from the rod tip down to the feeder. Maybe there's a shoal of small fish down there. Don't know, you just don't know. It's a mystery, it's a mystery. Oh. But still, it's nice now the sun's out. It's warmed up beautifully. Might even have to shed a layer, but not just yet. My hands are still pretty cold. <laughs> As I say, we're hoping that um, the warmer weather when it comes in is going to heat this end of the lake up first as it's a bit shallower and the fish will hopefully start moving around a bit more. Um, we've seen a fish roll. It, uh, it was like you hear a bloop. You're like, oh, what's that? It's usually like a coot or something, or a moorhen, or a duck. But no, that was an actual fish. So fish are starting to move around a little bit. But regardless, it's really nice. It's just relaxing, chilling out. Watching the wildlife. Nice. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> Patience pays off. Finally, caught myself a lovely tench on the feeder, on the bagger. <laughs> Let's have a look at that tail. Look at that. <laughs> what a fantastic fish. Glorious green, olive green. Beautiful rubbery mouth. <laughs> Beautiful. Glistening in the sunshine. Alright, let's get you back. <laughs> The chair just pinged back. <laughs> oh, 
sort this out. <laughs> Is that better? No, it's not right. Maybe it was in the right position all along, it just pinged in the right place. Is it? Has it got it? There we go. Now, I've dropped my water bottle. Oh, who'd be an angler? Tighten that up. Nice. Oh, must have made it feel better having a tench under the belt. <clears throat> it's been a long old morning. <clears throat> the bailiff's just been round. And he was explaining that the water's really clear here at the moment. We've had a lot of rain and it's flushed this whole lake through. And indeed, I wouldn't say the water's gin clear. Um, maybe it's got a... You know when you're in a pub and you get yourself a rum and coke, but the coke or pepsi or whatever <clears throat> the the sauce is running out and it goes a bit pale it's a bit like that you can see through it i can see the bottom really clearly now i've got my polaroids on uh, you sort of see patches of mold and patches of dirt which i imagine is similar to what it's like out there but yeah God, that's nice lovely tench get the rod bent <laughs> um yeah so not only has it been difficult because of the freezing cold weather this morning and now it's really warm but also it was difficult because of the rain we've had but if you don't try you don't get do you simple as that there's a lot of people out and about there's quite a few anglers down the lake now um, a lot of golfers around ah there goes the bailiff now um i thought it was a golfer but <laughs> it's actually the bailiff no there are golfers across the other side there every now and then you hear a they're hitting the uh, golf balls and I keep thinking oh someone snapped off but it's not um, Aaron's had a good tench as well um, he's to be caught right in the margins up on his float but I'm still sticking to the feeder I'm hoping something will come out but I must admit that last cast I did um, I was going to change to a float <laughs> but now I'll stick with the feeder <laughs> see what else we can get might be a few more tench out there. But yeah, it's not going to be as, as productive. Um, it was uh, the classic, you should have been here yesterday. Um, well, last week anyway. Because the water was nice and uh, cloudy. And the, the tench were really feeding. Here on uh, Stockbridge, Stockbridge Pond. Uh, we've seen a few little roach knocking around. We've seen a big carp leaping out the water just the other side of there. And perhaps a crucian, we're not sure. It was a bit further out and we couldn't quite see it. But it'd be nice to see a few more on the end of a hook, wouldn't it? <laughs> but, to be honest, even if I just catch that one, I'm very happy. I haven't been fishing in quite a long while, um, as you guys will know. <laughs> well, I haven't been filming fishing for quite a long while, shall I say. So it's nice to have a fish for the film and to... Uh, show you guys a lovely glorious spring tench oh i'm expecting one of these golf balls to come hurtling at me in a minute but hopefully they're better golfers than that yeah there they go <laughs> anyway rod's back out again maggots are on the hook again maggots are dancing away quite happily inside the tub in this warm weather i've got my ground bait here somewhere there we are, nice dark, dark ground bait, so we fish, um, feel comfortable to feed over the top of it, in this clear water. And hopefully another fish will come along and dangle my rod.
lovely little male fish and tail act as the uh, the fins and the little bump you see just there. I think you can see that. Quite a dark fish. Orangey yellow belly. Beautiful. <laughs> so feisty. Come on then. Look at the size of that top fin as well. Look. Fantastic. Right, back in the net you go. Yeah, slime. Back into the lake you go. Off you go. Tell your missus, we want to see her. <laughs> right, let's be towel. Sure enough, now it's warmed up a bit. Potential on the feed. My rig, just a little cage feeder, stop knot. It's very short hook length actually. Whoop, as you can see, a size 14 barbless hook. Simple, so easy. <laughs> Couple of maggots. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go for three on this one. See if we can get a bigger one. Don't need to be accurate with the old uh, hooking of the maggots either. I found out. But yeah, three little maggots. Watch them dancing away. Fill up the feeder. And get back out there. Lovely. gone for a little wander. It's the problem with sitting down <clears throat> all day long on the same chair is uh, my legs can't take it anymore. I've got to get some blood pumping through them, get moving up and down the bank. But it gives a good opportunity to um, 
have a look around uh see if there's any fish moving about look look look, look into some of the swims it's a nice swim there nice floating islands a couple of ducks <laughs> um <clears throat> by doing so by having a little wander sometimes taking a little break uh, you can sometimes come across a little gem and that's exactly what an everyday angler aaron uh, did earlier on right down at the very far end there there he is Whoop, boop. Um, he noticed there was a carp right in the margins and the margins here are only like a foot a foot and a half deep and uh, with the water clarity as it is at the moment where it's really really clear um, he's just seen uh, a carp just milling around feeding about on the bottom there so he's scattered in a few maggots and um, he set a little trap for it. He's uh, currently waiting to see if it's coming in. Uh, but it's been feeding, we've been watching it. It's been feeding quite nice on the maggots, so good luck to him, hopefully he catches it. Uh, the tench <coughs> fishing has kind of died down a little bit now, which is why I've taken this opportunity to have a little bit of a walk around, look at the woodland, see what the other anglers are using, spy out some <laughs> ideas. <laughs> Because uh, these guys would have come, most of them would come here quite often. And so if you can get an idea of what they're using and where they're sitting, it might be a good um, a good recipe for next time. Um, but anyway, I've had a little wander. I'm sure Aaron will give a, a yelp if he catches a, a carp from that corner. Now, it wasn't a particularly big carp, but a carp's a carp, isn't it? You've got to make, make the most of every opportunity you can. Um, anyway, let's wander back to my swim. Get some more bait in and see if we can winkle out a few more tench. Hopefully they would have um, come back a bit. I think I caught a few tench and by releasing them back into the water it startled the shoal uh, that's out there a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Really, really lovely. Very peaceful. Very quiet. Just the occasional whoo of a, uh, a golfer over on the side there. Uh, the occasional plane goes over. One coming come over now, funnily enough. Um, but otherwise it's so quiet, so peaceful, really nice to be out in nature. Uh, it just gets all the, all the stress of life away from you. And I've been particularly stressed recently, uh, with one thing or another, Christmas and getting that out of the way and then work and God knows what else. Um, and plus the weather's been just atrocious, isn't it? Um, it's been rain, rain, rain. I've really wanted to get on some rivers and do a bit of river fishing, but the river's been... Well, local to me, the river's been like, oh, I don't know, deeper than me. It's been higher and higher up than me and just coursing through with a great big rush and it's just been really hard to fish. Um, so it's nice to get back out into a nice little peaceful, quiet environment like this and just um, let all that stress wash away. <sighs> and it has, it really has, it has already. I already feel like, hmm, uh, some of that could be the sun, of course. We caught a bit of sun, just check myself, yeah, a little bit. Even with my uh, tan lotion, um, I, st I just catch the sun. As soon as I get out in the sun, I just go bright red. Just, just lobster eyes. Anyway, I've wandered around enough now. I'm actually hanging around to see if I could hear a yelp from uh, an everyday angler down there. But no, I wonder if I can see him from my swim here. Keep an eye on him, man. Peel down the lake. No, <laughs> but what a gorgeous setting to, to, to sit in all day. Really beautiful. I'm just checking it out now. Look, look at it behind me. Lovely. The sun's moved across a bit now, which is going to save my face from going red. And hopefully with the sun di dipping down, uh, the tent will come back on the feed. Uh, they really don't like the sun. <clears throat> so, um... I had a yelp. I'm gonna go and check. I'm gonna go and check. Before I settle down for the rest of the afternoon's tent fishing, I'm gonna go and check on him, I think, see what he's up to. There it is. An everyday angler. Poised and waiting. In his natural environment. Out in the wild, watching, waiting for his prey. 
be elusive. Carp. Bent over in stature. As you can see, he's a male. He has the big silver back to him. What a stunning specimen he is. Can't see any females around him. It's about right. <laughs> oh, he's seen something. <gasps> yes. He studies his prey. Oh, but he, of course, is prey himself. Too. A humble mosquito. Oh. Oh. Back's getting stiff in the chair. <laughs> Gotta keep moving about. Cast out again. I'm fishing just over to those um, floating islands in the middle. Not right near them. Uh, I don't want to get fish tangled up in them, but just a little bit further out. Um, it's gone quiet again. It's been having little sort of flurries of fish, then it goes quiet. Little flurries of fish, then it goes quiet. Um, perhaps it says shoals move around. Um, and everybody angler is still down the bank trying to catch uh, that carp in the margins. Just trying to find him. There he is. Yeah, he's still there. <laughs> um, not entirely sure he'll get it, but if he does, I mean, he who dares wins, isn't it? Yeah, he's... Oh, I had a splash, but it was a duck. <laughs> um, but Stockbridge Pond, what a lovely pond. Um, I think it will be better as the summer rolls on. It's very early spring at the moment. And uh, I think when the lilies come up and provide um, that sort of layer over the top of the water, potential to start to feed a bit, a bit better, a bit more ease. Once they've got a roof over their head, um, tench feel a lot more confident and a bit more laid back and they fall for your traps a little bit easier but um it's been nice i've had a few tench um aaron's had a few tench he's had a nice sort of crucian goldfish looking thing which is a decent size if it's a crucian if it's a goldfish looking thing still a decent size it doesn't matter um but yeah it's been really really nice really nice just to get back out on the bank um, I live too far away to join uh, Farnham Angling Society, sadly enough. Um, otherwise, I'd go for it. Plus, also, I don't drive. So, not a lot of their venues are near uh, railway stations, sadly enough. So, actually, to be fair, it probably wouldn't be much good to me anyway. Um, but when I'm local um, and um, Aaron's about and fancies a bit of fishing, I will happily visit some more waters if they're anything like this. I've just seen a tench in the margins really close in. I mean the water's only really shallow and it's again near gin clear with a dash of coke. So I've just quickly reeled in <clears throat> and popped the feeder right down here. I was thinking of stripping everything off and putting it down. But I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> no time. So I'm just throwing in like a little pinch of maggots every now and then. Around where the fish is feeding. Again, there's a chance of maybe snagging this tench. If he comes back through. I can see quite well with the polarised sunglasses on. But the water's a little bit, there's a little bit of chop to the top of it now. A little slight, slight breeze. But it's just making it really difficult to see. I'm just going to sit here quietly for a bit. See if I can see the fish come back in again. It's quite exciting. But it certainly pays to have a pair of polarised sunglasses and pays to have a look around. Sometimes even in your own swim. You can spend so many times casting out into the distance. But you miss the fish that are right under your feet. Come on, Denji.
There we go. He who dares wins. <laughs> With a gorgeous green tench. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Stockbridge Pond, eh? Glorious, glorious tench fishing. Check out the yellow and the green. Anyway, <laughs> what a day. It's been tiring, it's been warm, it's been cold, it's been everything. But with rewards like that, can't complain, can you? Just can't complain. Beautiful fish. Anyway, let's give you a kiss. Mwah. Thank you very much. And we'll pop you back. <sighs> and I'm walking back again. Uh, an everyday angler has just caught his last tench of the day out of that swim. It was meant to be the carp, of course, but I think he's actually pretty happy it's a tench <laughs> after it's been a tench day all day today. So it's nice to end on a good one. I caught a tench, my last tench of the day. So I ran back over to Aaron to see his last tench of the day. So now I'm just walking back and I'm going to give you the fond farewell. Fond farewell. <laughs> no. Um, if you've liked this video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. There's plenty of other tench content as well as all the other ty different types of fish that swim. God, I'm exhausted. I just, literally just ran over there. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on the bank. Bye.